What's up, everybody? And welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So Carrie and I just got back from Cancun, Mexico. We were down there for a week. Spent, you know, three, four, or five days on the beach. Well, there's beaches all around there anyways. And everybody's in tank tops and shorts. And, you know, it's the warm weather. You know, it's their warm year-round. Of course, you're not going to be there all bundled up. And, you know, we hit the beach. Now, Carrie and I both are above average physique-wise. I mean, we're not top of the food chain. But when we go places, people usually like, oh, wow, the workout couple... Or they'll say stuff like, wow, you guys are in really good shape. One guy even called us the super fit or super fitness or something. He was from like London, England or whatever. And, you know, that's just kind of a norm the way we are. Because we train year round. You know, we try to eat the best that we can. We have a good time. But the bottom line is this has been a lifestyle for us for many years. Okay. So it's not like we have a sedentary lifestyle. We eat a lot of junk, etc. We live the fairly fit lifestyle. So when we go places like, you know, Cancun, Playa, um, you know, any beach in general. That whole obesity thing starts to come up. While we're sitting on the beach, I start to think about that because I start looking around. And what I'm noticing is, you know, and this is not in America. Of course, America has the obesity problem. Everybody's fat. Everybody's having trouble losing weight, blah, 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 blah. But you don't hear too much about these other countries. Now, you know, I had a friend who went to Italy and he said, you know, everybody was very, you know, thin in Italy. They were all dressed nice, you know. Now, thin when you're dressed nice doesn't mean that you're fit. And now when you come to the beaches and you strip down to your bikini or your swim trunks and a lot of these guys are wearing Speedos that shouldn't be wearing Speedos, you see what's actually underneath those clothes when they look thin and fit. What they have is a skinny fat physique. And some of them are, that's, that's at best, skinny fat at best. And most of them, I'd say most, were obese. And I'm not talking about they sat down and had a little roll. That's normal for a normal person, right? You have that little flap of skin, a little roll, whatever. I'm talking about... They're obese. Like, they have multiple roles. Their bodies are built like barrels. Their arms are, are, and this is men and women, their arms are thin, but, like, are just bush. When they walk, they walk like this because they got no control over their bodies. There's no strength to their muscles or their posture. They look terrible. And then most of them are smoking. They're eating all kinds of shit. They're drinking all kinds of alcohol. Now, granted, they're on vacation, but their bodies are telling the tale that that's what they do when they're at home, too. They're not taking care of themselves. So I kind of stepped back a second and said, well... America is supposed to have the obesity problem, but here, America, in, in Cancun, Americans were, you know, not the, the big population there. It was Canadians, it was Colombians, it was Argentina, it was UK, it was, I mean, there was everybody was, there was more people from everywhere than there was Americans. And, you know, on the beach, I think we saw, you know, Carrie and I saw there was another couple that was in pretty good shape. There was a couple of guys that looked like they worked out, but it wasn't, it was like beach muscles. So obviously they spend a little time in the gym and could just be genetics. Who the hell knows? And then we went to A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez's gym. And everybody in that gym was training their ass off. And they were training hard. And, and the atmosphere was like, it was very like, it was intense. That's all, like the only way I can explain it. You know, you walked in and people were training. They were like, kind of look at you like, who are you? Why are you here? Then you start training. They're looking at you and you're training. It, it just kind of, it all fed off each other. So I'm like, okay, there is definitely, you know, a community of people who, you know, are serious about their fitness here and that are traveling like we are that are here, but that's not the norm. That's definitely not the norm around the world. So, you know, what is it about, you know, the whole exercise as a whole and fitness as a whole that people are still not getting turned on to, that people still don't care about? It's it's a smaller community than everything else that's going on in, you know, the world, worldwide we're seeing. And I just can't figure it out. The only thing I can figure is people just don't care. They just don't give a shit. They become complacent in the fact that, hey, it's okay to be fat, big is beautiful. All this bullshit is actually letting them be that way. And then when they see us, we're the minority on the beach. We're the ones that are like, and then you say stuff like, oh, wow, you know, you're really fit. You must work out six hours a day. Like actually, you know, 35 minutes and I'm out of the gym. Oh, well, you must only eat broccoli. <laughs> actually, just eat a burger. I ate pizza every single fucking day while we were on vacation. I ate burgers, pizza, lasagna, um... Pepsi, which full sugar Pepsi, um, I mean, you name it, I was eating it down. It didn't fucking matter. You know, there was a place called Vips or VIPs or whatever. It's owned by the Walmart company. It's a restaurant. And they had these two fried chicken cutlet freaking, I mean, the thing was amazing. It was so loaded with fat and garbage. But that's the way I eat. And why do I eat like that? Because I've been training for like 26 years. Well, 24 years, 25, 24 out of 26 years I've been training. And out of those years... 20 of them have very, been very consistent and very intense. So I've actually been training longer in my life than I haven't. And that, over time, changes metabolism. 
it burns calories. It allows you to eat the foods that normally other people would get fat with, but it doesn't work like that on you. It's different because your metabolism is different. Now, not to say that my genetics are you know, not part of this, but the bottom line is I've started training so young, I don't even know what my genetics are anymore. When I was younger, I was thin. When I was really young, I was fat. So what are my genetics as an adult? I don't know because I've been training so long that you know, my new genetics that I have right now based on training are I can get away with eating this, this, and this and not get fed. Or I can not train and get fed. I, didn't, I only trained once when I was down there and I got softer in a couple of days. And as I get softer, that makes me go, man, I can't wait to get back to the gym. These people, not softer, they're actually fat. And none of them had any desire to look any better. You know, and some of them are down there and they're like they're dressed in jeans and sweatshirts in 90 degree weather down on the beach because they're ashamed of what they look like. They don't want to take their clothes off and go in the water. Well, don't you think something's wrong with that when you go to a beach in a pair of jeans and a sweatshirt? You stay totally covered up like that the whole time? I don't know. I just don't get it. But now, you know, the, the whole point of this video is it's not an American problem anymore. It's a worldwide problem. And I don't even know how to change it. There's just no, you know, no direct route of, a, route of action to change any of this until people start smartening up. How that's going to happen, I don't know. I mean, I can preach all I want, but the bottom line is they'll look at me or Carrie or someone like you guys watching at home and say, well, that's too much work. I, I, I'm not into that. What do you say to that? BioStreetTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biostreetraining.com is the blog, and we're the Worldwide Obesity Bicep, and we're out.